愛しき人を守るためにはるか彼方へと」Last mission before the split. Garden flagship bridge. No music here. There we go. Tose Kisaragi, allow me to be the first to personally welcome you to the garden. I am Alphorus Rom Halharis, commander of Garden's 8th Fleet. You guys have been stalking the Yamato ever since you came out of that dimensional rift. What's your deal? What brings you all the way out here? You all should be flattered. That's how valuable we view you all to be. Especially that AI robot of yours. That AI robot is called Nine, if you don't mind. Regardless, I'd like to make one thing clear. We didn't come all this way for fun. For us, this is well and truly a homecoming. A homecoming? That's an interesting choice of words. Our history is a lengthy one. My story begins in the Middle Ages. <laughs> oh, it's Excalibur! Long ago, the super, the super civilization, I believe they misspelled that, Guardian was, in fact, a great interstellar nation that was founded in this very galaxy. It was an orderly society, run purely by rationality. And, it, and I think that's meant to be efficiency. Efficiency. There was no waste in how, how we did things. Our ways were going to spread throughout the galaxy. You either have to be really confident or completely full of yourselves to call yourself a super civilization. If you talk like that, it sounds like you guys bullied other planets into following you and your beliefs. Your presumption that we merely invade other planets speaks to how primitive your language and philosophy remain even after Terrans have reached out into space. Now we merely brought enlightenment. Those who embraced it were rewarded with prosperity and a peaceful future. All for the small price of your own freedom and pride as a living being. That's right, that's totally a fair trade. I can tell but you approach the rather than approach Roger Ah, I can't speak. I can tell that Rather than approach matters rationally, you prefer to rely on your own so-called intuition. Yours is a mind that is not clearly not developed much at all. You might as well be an infant who's just learned to talk. I'm glad you're not my psychologist. Seriously. Alright, riddle me this, smart guy. Why did Gardam ever leave this galaxy? I mean, other than the fact that you guys had no friends. You can blame Iskandar for that. We've been embroiled in a long, bitter war with them, thanks in no part to their wave motion energy. Iskandar? They never look like the type to fight to me. The Terrans seem to view the Iskandarians as emissaries of peace, but sadly the reality is somewhat more complicated. Allow me to educate you on the truth of the Iskandarians. I'm not sure what I'm looking at. I haven't seen the... Uh, I still haven't watched uh, Yamato 2199 yet. Is is this true? I presume you have some idea what this film means. That light. It looks like the wave motion cannon. Precisely. Destructive, fearsome power of the wave of wave motion energy. This Kindar has used many, his wave motion energy to attack many plants in the, fa in the past. Man, if you wanted to, like, slip the idiot in on, on, on this in, like, one, like, route, just have it show up all of a sudden, just drop a line here. Oh, some civilizations call this pot wave motion power the Ide. You thought I'd actually believe that? It's clearly nothing but a fake story made to deceive us. If that's what you believe, I understand. After all, I imagine you have to tell yourself that in order to wipe away any doubts about the truth. This might be true. Again, I haven't seen 2199. I can't say. Indeed, these Gandarians nearly drove us to extinction. In the end, Gardam's eighth fleet ultimately became the civilization's one last hope for survival. Can't be serious. 
I can't imagine them doing that. I'm not sure what's going on with Jotose's facial expression here. It's, like... The expression gives the implication that she's, like, being tortured? But... Not getting any sound effects to do that, and because of how the presentation of this game works, you don't have any interstitial still frames to set up, okay, she's in a garden torture chamber or anything like that. Whether you choose to believe me or not is up to you. You only understand so much with such a primitive mind. Yeah, sure. Let me go on another tangent for a second. What is Nine? What was she really built to do? The story of AI of that AI is long and winding. We're gonna try with the unfortunate downfall of Gardam. I can discuss it, but it'll make a long conversation even longer. Let me go over the basics. I don't need everything. If there's one thing you intellectually deficient species have in common, it's a desire to rush everything. Nevertheless, it's my job at the end of the day to enlighten, so I'll try to accommodate your sad need. Well, we have a certain degree of limited time on our lives, where I, you're immortal, I guess, so it's not a problem to you? You do know how to be considerate sometimes. Thanks. No need to thank me. Education, the leadership, education, enlightenment are duties for everyone within Gardam. You just never give your ego stroke a rest, do you? You think you've rented a refractory period at some point. Though I spoke of us nearly going extinct earlier, that's not to say we merely said idly by and let it happen to us. One of the measures, many measures we took to combat our circumstances is something called Nevanlina. Nevanlina? I, what's that? I've never heard of it. Nevanlina is a system designed to rebuild their civilization. It never disappeared. The system would cultivate the environment of their planet and rebuild Gardam anew. The police of that system was of, is of the utmost priority to us. And since the reason why we sought out the, the AI that worked and fought alongside you. What? I don't know how you can be in your hands, but Nine, as you call it, is a slave system of criminal of sorts for the Nevalina system itself. What you're saying is she's part of the ERS-100, Earth Regeneration System. It's actually made to help Garden rejuvenate its own civilization. Suddenly everything's finally, everything's starting to finally add up. Now it makes more makes more sense, a lot more sense why Soji and Nine couldn't bring themselves to trust this Kendar. They must have known about your past dealings with it. Microphone there. How to explain why Soji joined Gardam in the first place? I guess he wanted to use that Nevalina system to save the Earth and bring it back to life. Perhaps I underestimated you and your intuition earlier. It gives me hope that the terminal will be useful to us. Useful? What are you guys planning to do to her? That AI is in possession of highly valuable data that Gardam couldn't acquire alone in its current state. Once that data is all pieced together, we should at long last be able to complete Nevelina and begin reconstructing Gardam in earnest. What kind of data could she have that would be so valuable? Just a moment. It's data on Terrans. What? What can you do with data on us? As it stands, the 8th Fleet has all of one human being among its ranks, making a data to be derived from this individual highly subjective and relative. So, command, soldiers' commands we made using the existing data on humans we have are mere prototypes. Ones that critically failed in terms of expressiveness. The 9th data is valuable because she spent so much time with humans because of Earth Fleet Tenku. Likewise. Or indeed, the likewise defined his limitation, Soji Murakuma has been useful as someone close to the AI. In fact, it's my sincere, sincere hope that the conflict would grow you between you two so as to assist in those, these efforts. It's all it was to you, huh? Just a sick, old, dumb old game. With more than that, but you two played your parts well. Glad I could help. Now are you going to keep your promise to Soji and save Earth or what? Naturally, I'm a man of my word. How that revival will have to come after Gardam is on reconstruction. And how long is that supposed to take? We don't have time! You have a semblance of a brain you have for once. How long do you expect that to take when we're rebuilding something that once occupied vast swaths of the galaxy? 
Our grant plan estimations are in five-year increments. Knowing that, I expect it to take around 20 years before Garden will have retaken his place as the Galactic Power. In the meantime, we intend to use your planet Terran as the cornerstone for our new nation and civilization. What? You seriously can't... You can't seriously think you can do that. Call it invasion if you must. It's well established that your conception of our ways is extremely limited. Just imagine, if you will, a savage, unrefined species such as yours being brought into Garden's enlightened fold. What an honor to be asked to join us, truly. You tricked him! Soji wouldn't ever agree to that. Frank, I'm frankly quite surprised to hear you make such a claim. I assure you, I haven't once ever haven't once ever lied to him about this. At most, he's taken my honest words and chosen to interpret them in a way that's most convenient to him. Really, this is all a good opportunity for all quite a good opportunity for all involved. Now, the terminal can learn about terror and emotions from him, but didn't manage to pick up from you. I'm especially interested in it learning Bear. I don't think I've ever hated anyone as much as I hate you now. And what, insult me somehow? Try again. There's no need for someone like me to come worked up over a lowly dog that's been overcome with a barking tree. Hmm. You needn't be so overly concerned. We have no intention of disposing of you for the time being. Then what do you have in mind for me? Eventually, we'll ask you to help us collect more data from the terminal, seeing as she knows you the most. For now, we have more pressing matters to attend to. Such as? I'll look at these gamblers first and foremost. They've ruled the roost in their absence long enough, I'd say. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that. 